uh, speaking from the subject, why wrestle when you can clean? Why wrestle when you can clean? Why wrestle when you can clean? Uh, why wrestle when you can clean? Thank you, Ushers. Why wrestle when you can clean? My beloved, it's always a dangerous thing uh, to be contrary to God. Hmm? It's a dangerous thing to be contrary to God and to the things of God. Uh, God is a God of love. Amen. And God loves fellowship. Hmm? And uh, he likes to have fellowship with his people in spite of our past and in spite of our ways. Everybody has a past. Everybody has ways. Some folks got to go down. <laughs> Dirty way. <laughs> but, 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 but God uh, is love and he desires to have a relationship. Amen. Uh, it is his desire that no man perish. That all men would come to uh, repentance. Amen. And belief in Jesus Christ. That all men would uh, become obedient and would all men would confess their sins. Not his desire that any man perish. He, I, I'm trying to tell you, he's not a God that's sitting somewhere waiting to punish folks. It's not his desire. Amen? Uh, but, but punishment comes based on our response to God. Are you hearing me, somebody? Now, um, in our text here, we have a family of things. We have some family visits. Amen. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, if you want to draw a line, if you're tired of being tired, and you want to see change, uh, you have got to, change has to start with you. You have to draw a line. Amen. And so in the text here, uh, Jacob uh, was getting ready to leave his uncle's uh, property. He had lived with his uncle. He had already uh, 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 schemed on his brother Esau. Yeah. He had already plotted. He had already become wealthy. Talk to me somebody. Uh, he had already acquired everything that a man could acquire. Wives, wives, Wives and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, God had blessed him. Amen. Uh, but 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 Jacob could not, like many of us, he could not get away from his past. Let me preach in here. Yes, Lord. And and and, and so his uncle, uh, 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 they got together and they made a covenant. Uh, it's time to look, look, it's time for you to go. You, you, God blessing you so until you, He's I blessed you uh, in my in my space with my stuff. Yes. It's time for you to get up out of here. Uh, Am I making any sense yet? Uh, 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 you have schemed, amen. You have more cattle than I have, but you're on my land. You need to get up and get out of here. And so the Lord said, Jacob. It's time for you to go. Let me put it another way. Is there anybody in here know how it feels to wear out your wealth? <laughs> Is there anybody in here know how it feels to stay too long? Well, Jacob has stayed too long. <laughs> Amen. But, 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 but what was up ahead of Jacob was frightening. Because when God told him to leave his uncle and get up and, and, and leave, uh, what was in the back of 
of his mind is the wrong that he had done to his brother. He had, he had schemed on him and stole his birthright. You don't hear what I'm trying to tell you. And his brother had vowed to him that when mom and daddy died, yeah. you dead. I'm going to get you. And so God says, get up and leave where you are and go, I'm gonna, I, and, and, and go meet your brother. Yeah. Amen. Go to a place that I'm going to set for you. Amen. Because first of all, I'm sti you're still under my blessing. I'm still going to make a way for you. But you know what? Jacob thought like this. At my uncle's house, I'm in safety. Yeah. Esau ain't going to come here. Uh -huh. But the minute I leave my uncle's house with all my stuff, uh -huh. Esau has already declared that he's going to kill me. <laughs> and so he was very fearful. But God told him, listen, it's time now for you to come on in. You can, you can be a trickster for a long time. But at some point in time, you got to face you. Yeah. Right. And you got to deal with your past. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's coming up again. Uh, so as a result of that, uh, Jacob was afraid uh, that his brother was going to find him and kill him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, but he was told to return. Amen. And he, and he was afraid for his life. See, when you've done wrong, yeah. and when you got away with wrong so long, mm -hmm. uh, you live in a state of fear that your wrong is going to catch up to you. Yeah. Amen. 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 And it is your wrong that can cause you to get killed. Yeah. Can I preach in here a little bit? Yeah. And, and, and so uh, uh, he said, get up and go. And, 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 and Jacob was told to return, but he was afraid for his life. He acknowledged to God. You have to read the text. He acknowledged to God that, uh, that he was not worthy of God's loving kindness and of his tender mercy. <laughs> Uh, he was not worthy. He's pleading to God. I'm not worthy of your loving kindness and your tender mercy. I'm not worthy of your faithfulness. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Uh, because of you, because of that you have shown me. And what makes me not worthy is all of my sins. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to turn around and face yourself. Yeah. Hmm? And some folks don't want to do that. But you got to do that. If you want to get better, if you want to be healed, amen. If, if you want to get away from the guilt trips, and all of the foolishness that folk go through, you've got to turn around and face yourself. Oh, come on in here. Yeah. It's in the text. Uh, and so uh, when we look at this, uh, now we see a mature Jacob. Mm -hmm. Time, my brothers and sisters, bring about a change. Amen. And uh, my grandmother used to say that it's an evil wing yeah. no that don't ever change. Yeah. Uh, so in our text here, Jacob had matured a little bit, amen. And uh, at this juncture in his life, uh, he has to deal with his past. Hello, somebody. He's got to deal with the fear of his brother. Amen. And he's also got to deal with the unknown. Oh, come on here. He's got to deal with whether or not uh, I'm going to retain all of my blessings that the Lord has blessed me with yeah. as I go. In other words, Lord, if I get up and am I going to lose everything? Yeah. How's everything going to look? How's everything going to turn out? You would be the same way. Uh, and, and, and so uh, he, he had to deal with that. He also had to deal with his personal character. Because he had a character flaw. He was a schemer. He was a player, if you will. Okay, I'm not. Are y'all here? Yeah, he was a schemer. He was a player. Amen. That's how he got the birthright. Brother came in tired from the field, breathing, huffing and puffing. You know, he done cooked up some soup for him. <laughs> and, and you know what? If you read the story, I'm telling you what a schema he was. When his brother said, I need my bread right for, for this soup, he threw in a piece of bread. <laughs> That's a player right there. <laughs> okay. You gotta go back and read the story. Amen? Uh, and, and so as a result of that, he had to worry about his personal character now. Uh, now the first step. Uh, of uh, believing and knowing who God is. Amen. That's the first step. You, you first of all have got to deal with your personal character. Got to look in the mirror. Don't think highly of yourself or higher than you ought to think. Uh, so so, so uh, Genesis uh, 20, uh, 32 and 7. Now, life's victories cannot be achieved without God. 
Let me tell you something. The reason a whole lot of people won't go back and fix something that they messed up is because they're trying to do it on their own strength and without God. If you take God with you, he'll help fix it for you. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Now, and that's the only way to be fixed. You'll find that in Matthew 12 and 12. So he asked God to be with him. And he asked God to deliver him, not only from his brother, but also he asked the Lord, Lord, I got to go back, so deliver me from Esau, and then I, I need you to protect my family. My wife and my children and all of my stuff. I need you to protect all my blessings mm -hmm. since I got to get up and go back. Yeah. Amen. Because I don't know where I'm going to face when I go back. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that in, in Psalm 59, 1 and 2. Uh, Jacob uh, had the birthright, amen, and he had the blessings of God, amen, but he still feared what would happen to him because of his past sins. Mm -hmm. Let me put a pause right there. A whole lot of folks cannot worship God, cannot serve God because of your past sins. What's, what, what got you all hung up and messed up and tore up is because you never dealt with your past sins. And just because a time has gone by and it does not seem like anything has happened, you are wrecked. You are wrecked because that's what unconfessed sin will do for you. Are you with me, somebody? Uh, I'm not, I just asked somebody's question because somebody's asked a question. Lord, what, what in the world is wrong with me I, that I can't grow and I can't be blessed? First of all, you got some stuff in the past you've got to get straightened out. You got some unconfessed sin back there. Amen? And you think that, that because you don't, you, you don't see it you, and you forgot about it, it's not bothering you, everything is all right. No, it's even you alive. You got to go back and deal with that. And so he had to deal with those past sins. And so when he went to meet his brother, he went with the intention and with the notion that I'm going to bless him. Yeah. Oh, you don't hear me. Yeah. I'm going to bribe him. I'm going to bless him. And so uh, Jacob sent a contingent of folks ahead of him on his way. That's how scared he was. Yeah. Huh? Uh, the first wave he said, he said, take it when you meet him. He said, where is Esau? Well, he, he's coming this way. Well, well, go out there and take this to him. Yeah. He did that three times. What was he trying to do? He was trying to deal with the intent and the anger of his brother. Uh -huh. I'm rich now. Maybe if I give him enough of my stuff, yeah. he won't kill me. Yeah. Okay, you don't hear what I'm trying to kill you. Right. Huh? And so he did this three times uh, uh, in order to appease his brother in hopes uh, of changing his brother's mind that his brother would spare his life. Uh, he brought presents to his brother and had them delivered by the hands of his servants. He was too much of a power to deliver them himself. So he had his servants delivered three times in hopes of appeasing the anger of his brother. Again, because he was afraid of what his brother would do to him. Now, uh, your conscience will eat you up. Yeah. Your conscience will eat you alive. Yeah. And so, as he uh, was sitting there uh, at night time. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody said night time is the right time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he was sitting there at night and, 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 and his mind and his conscience began to eat him alive. Mm -hmm. And so he sent his wife and his family ahead of him over the brook of Jabrook. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go on across over there at night time. Uh, maybe Esau won't see y'all and, and, and he won't kill y'all. He'll spare your life. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Jacob is alone. And there's something about being alone. Uh -huh. Some people can't stand to be alone. You know why? When you're alone, you can't get away from self. Right. <laughs> you live in a great big house. Yeah. All alone. Uh -huh. When you go upstairs, self is upstairs. <laughs> All right. Well, I better go downstairs to the den. Yeah. When you go downstairs to the den, self is down there. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so there's some people that cannot deal uh, with self. They, they have not learned how to stop and turn around and deal with self. Amen. And so he sent them and he sent whatever he owned over the Jacob 
the brook of Jabrook. Yeah. Amen? And he was trying to ensure their own safety. In other words, I believe I might lose my life, but at least you ought to be saved. Amen? You'll find that in Deuteronomy 31 and 16 and, and Joshua 12 and 2. Nighttime is a suitable time if you want to get right with God. Listen to me, saying. Sometimes there's too much going on during the daytime. Too much hustle and bustle. Sometimes the nighttime uh, is the time where uh, you can exercise self-examination. The nighttime is a time where uh, you can understand what's suitable for the soul. Am I working in here yet? Uh, Sometimes the nighttime is the time where uh, you can have full meditation. Yeah. Oh, come on in here. Uh, Sometimes the nighttime is the time when you can get clarification on some things. Uh, Sometimes the nighttime, are you listening? Say amen. amen. Uh, Sometimes the nighttime is the only time that you can get a personal interview with God. I'm trying to help you. Uh, and all of those things will help you to stop wrestling and be able to clean. Uh, Psalm 4 and 4, Psalm 63 and 6, uh, Luke 6 and 12, Psalm 77 and 6, and John 16 and 32. Now, we, just like Jacob, have obstacles to overcome. Now, if you don't have any obstacles to overcome, you probably dead while you live. We all have obstacles to overcome, uh, uh, not by force. That's the problem. We try to force and bully our way. But we have obstacles that we must overcome uh, by prayer. Huh? And by supplication. Uh, we, like Jacob, have, uh, uh, we, we, we have um, to overcome many things. Jacob had to overcome fear. He had to overcome his past. He had to overcome uh, the integrity uh, or, or, the, or the lack of integrity of his name, if you will. Amen? And he had to overcome a divided mind. See, your mind can get you all messed up. All right. Should I or should not? Right. What should I do? <laughs> That's a divided mind. That's a dangerous thing. James tell you that a double-minded man is dangerous in all his ways. Unstable. Amen. Isaiah 26 and 3 and uh, Psalms 137 and 3. Uh, so there he was left alone. <laughs> After he sent his family over the brook, he was left alone there. And the Bible said he wrestled. Yeah. Huh? Uh, with a man until the breaking of day. Yeah. Uh, but in, the, in wrestling with the man, uh, the, re- the record is he could not prevail. Yeah. Are you hearing me, somebody? All right. Hosea 12, uh, 3 and 2. Hosea 10 and 14 and 2 Kings 17, 34. Uh, when he saw that he could not prevail, huh? uh, 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 he touched the hollow, uh, the, the man touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh. Uh-huh. And it was out of joke. Are you hearing me, somebody? Matthew 26, 41 and 2 Corinthians 12 and 7. Now, the answer to Jacob's wrestling the answer to his wrestling was his infirmity. You can wrestle with God all you want. But because Jacob could not prevail, uh, from that day forward, Jacob walked with a limp. Yeah. <laughs> Are you hearing me, somebody? Yeah. And so uh, the answer to his wrestling was his infirmity, Job 2 and 5. Uh, he walked with the limp from that time on. And because of his wrestling and his, will- his willingness to be with the angel of the Lord, he received the blessings of God, which resulted in a changed name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't give me yeah. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Matthew 27 and 22, 1 John 5 and 4, Hebrews uh, 11 and 34, Revelation 3 and 12, Revelation 1 and 6. Uh, there is my beloved strength and weakness. See, some of us uh, cannot get an answer. We cannot get a breakthrough because we specialize in being strong yeah. all the time. Mm-hmm. Huh? I'm so strong until I'm just going to press my way on through. I'm not going to let anything defeat me. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something. Uh, sometimes you're, you're strongest in your weakness. 
Hmm? And so as a result of that, that means I've got to acknowledge God and I've got to give up and let God uh, 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 run the show. Um, and, 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 and also in knowledge, uh, in the knowledge of poverty, there's power. Jacob was by himself. He wasn't rich. He was by himself at night. Now listen, if I'm in this kind of situation like this, when I acknowledge the situation I'm in, then uh, there is an ability uh, or, or, or some wealth in that. I, I have a chance to think. I have a chance to understand some things. I have a chance to put some things uh, in, 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 in order. Uh, Matthew 5 and 3. Uh, the man that he wrestled with uh, 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 requested that he let him go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The angel of the Lord said, if you let me go. Yeah. It's getting ready to be daybreak. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't come to stay long. <laughs> but I need you to let me go. Uh -huh. uh, you know the story, don't you? Uh, Jacob told him that he wasn't going to let him go. Yeah. And so he wrestled with him all night long. Yeah. But I stop by to tell you that you will never prevail against God. Amen. Uh, and, 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 he, and Jacob wanted to know uh, what the man's name was. Yeah. But I'm going to show you how God operates. The moment that you want to know what God's name is, yeah. uh, God also wants to know your name. Yeah. And not only that, you are you listening? Yeah. When you really want to know God's name, yeah. God will change your name. Yeah. I'm trying to help somebody this morning because there are a lot of people that are wrestling with the law. And there are a lot of people that want to know more about God than they need to know. And so as a result of that, when you want to know who God is, and when you are sincere about knowing God, when you give up everything that you own to want to know who God is, when you drop everything and start pursuing the law, then God wants to know your name. And then what he'll do is he'll change your name. He changes our name based on how well we want to know his name. Let me see if I can make a claim for you. When you begin to study God's word, you're trying to know him a little bit better. When you begin to come to Sunday school, you're trying to know who God really is. When you come to Bible study, you are trying to know God's name. You're trying to understand who this God is. When God see you trying to understand him, when he see you trying to know his name, the Lord will change your name. Oh, leave you alone, yeah. But God knows every hair that's on your head. God knows every sin that's in your heart. But when you wrestle with God and want to know all about him, the Lord will desire your name. I'm going to leave you alone here. Another thing, the Lord will make a way for you. The Lord will change Jacob's name. Now when you get a changed name, the Lord will make everything all right. The Lord will make Jacob your name. But don't know that. Call Jacob. Because Jacob is a scandalized thing. Is a name that does not have any respect. Jacob is a name that has been contaminated. And so your name is no longer going to be called Jacob. But I'm going to give you a new name. Your name shall be called Israel. Because out of you, I'm going to birth a nation. I'm going to leave you alone. But all I'm trying to tell you is uh, that you ought not to uh, wrestle with the Lord. Uh, why wrestle uh, when all you got to do uh, is throw your arms uh, around God? Uh, and if you throw your arms uh, around God uh, and just cling uh, to God, uh, hold on uh, to his unchanging hand. Uh, you don't hear me. Uh, why wrestle with God? Uh, we have a whole lot of folks. Uh, that are still
still wrestling with God. There are a whole lot of people that want to ask God, God, why did you do what you did? But you ought not to wrestle with God. Instead of wrestling, you ought to cling, cling on to God. And if you will cling to God, everything will be all right. But I stopped by on my way to glory to tell somebody that God is a God that cares because the man that wrestled with all night, all night long, that would not let him go was none other than Jesus Christ. And so Jesus had to get back to heaven. So Jacob said, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm not going to turn you loose until you bless me. You don't hear me? And so God blessed Jacob in more than one way. The first way that he blessed him is he put him over the tribes of Israel and changed his name. The second way that he blessed him, you better watch out now. The second way that he blessed him is from that day forward, Jacob walked with a limp. From that day forward, another way that he blessed Jacob is every Jew will never eat a chicken thigh. You hear me? Because of what happened to Jacob, they will not eat a chicken thigh. I'm going to leave you alone here, yeah. but I just stopped by. To tell somebody why are you wrestling with the word of God? Why are you wrestling with what Jesus said? Why are you wrestling with Jesus said? Come unto me, all you that labor and have heavy and I will give you rest. Why are you wrestling with the Lord when he said, Cast all your cares? Upon me, for I care it for you. Why would you keep on wrestling when all you got to do is cling? A song right of sand. I will cling to that old rugged cross. Because someday I'm going to change it for a crown. Joseph's new tomb. Yeah. 
But that's not the end no. of the story. Because on the third day, oh, yeah. according to the scripture, oh, yeah. Jesus rose from the dead yeah. with all power yeah. in heaven and earth in his hands. Yeah. Now, that is why the angel of the Lord told Jacob that they turned me loose. It's getting ready to be daybreak. It's getting ready to be heaven. In the morning. Uh -huh. I don't want you to know my name. Uh -huh. It's getting ready to be early in the morning. Uh -huh. And I got to get on back to heaven. Yeah. But right here, early on the third uh -huh. day, yeah. God raised him from the dead. Uh -huh. Went on the top. In heaven and earth in the uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. So my question to you simply is this. <coughs> to every heart in the house. Why are you still wrestling? Like, why are you still bringing your low down ways, dirty hands, dirty heart, dirty feet, and then get up in God's face and want to rest? Huh? Well, Pastor, we wouldn't do that. This 2018, yes, you do. You do it all the time. Hmm? The Lord said, Meet me at my house. You wrestling, you can't get there. That's wrestling. Huh? Why wrestle when you can just clean? That's a natural thing. So that you can change your name. Everybody want to sing this. Oh, I just know I've been changed. Yes. The angels in heaven. Yeah. Sign my name. All right. But you wrestle. <laughs> huh? You wrestle. We're trying to get you to study to show yourself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. Mm -hmm. But you wrestle. Are you hearing me, somebody? Sure. Mm. Why wrestle when you can just clean? Yeah. Learn how to clean. Let him change your name. Yeah. Mm? I was born a Harrison. Mm? Are y'all listening? Yeah. My daddy's last name was Harrison. But the Lord knew one day that Harrison wouldn't get me into heaven. <laughs> you see, Harrison was a low down, scandalized man. And so the Lord had to change my name in order for me to make heaven my home. Have your name been changed? Or you still ride on your old scandalized name? I got some bad news for you. It ain't going to get you in. Your name is going to have to be changed. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know what? It won't be no counterfeit folks either. Mm. Because when you get home, the Lord is going to give you a stone with your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that will let everybody know you belong, you, you belong to that. You ought to be there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So you, you're not going to get in heaven and wrestle with God, standing there together, St. Peter's get there. <laughs> You know what I did for you when I'm down in the church. <laughs> That's not going to work. He said, you all the way up here rascal. Depart from me, you work of iniquity. I never knew you. It's a dangerous thing to wrestle. That's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. And there's so many people in the church that say they've been born again. They have their name on the church roll, but your name is not in heaven. And the evidence of that is your wrestling. Why wrestle when you can clean? Come on, quiet. Give us an invitation. I hope you got something out of the message today. I cut it a little short for you. But I want you to, you got the main point.